We're going to court. Good evening. Peace talks are on the table between Russia and Ukraine. The West and its allies have beefed up sanctions, putting pressure on the Kremlin. But the Russian president's latest directive is raising fears of possible nuclear warfare. Dark images of war continue to ravage the Ukrainian countryside. Russian backed separatists taking control of a town in the Donetsk region Sunday. Troops entering Ukraine's second largest city where street fighting was breaking out. Russian forces drawing closer to the capital city. Its military seen here suffering heavy losses in a suburb of Kyiv. I am uh, with my family. KTLA spoke with a pastor from Kyiv this morning who is hiding with his family. Today I uh, preached to my church uh, members on uh, Zoom uh, with them. I talked with them and some of them are right now in the shelters. Uh, trying to be safe uh, from uh, uh, rockets. Uh. Amid the mounting tensions, Ukraine announced that a delegation would meet with Russian officials for talks at the border with Belarus. <laughs> President Zelensky speaking on the ground in Ukraine says he's skeptical of the forthcoming meeting with Russia. This comes as President Putin has put Russian nuclear forces on high alert in response to what he called aggressive statements by leading NATO powers. The move raising fears the crisis could lead to nuclear warfare. Yes, they are unprecedented times because the war is back in our borders. And that's why it is a defining moment for the European history. European Union representatives announcing they would provide Ukraine with 500 million in aid for weapons, making it the first time the organization finances the purchase and delivery of weapons to a country under attack. The 27-nation bloc would also close its airspace to Russian airlines. Let me be very clear. Our airspace will be closed to every Russian plane, and that includes the private jets of oligarchs. Now, the U.N. Security Council voted for its General Assembly to hold an emergency session on the Russian invasion. Now, a resolution calling for peace is set for this Monday. And on Tuesday, this crisis is set to take center stage on Capitol Hill when President Biden, Biden delivers his State of the Union address. That's the latest here in the KTLA News Center. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right.